Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to wait a little bit to allow people to get on and I'm gonna do some explaining before we start. So, oof, sorry, I hurt my finger yesterday, sliced part of it off. Let me make sure, sorry about the lighting right there. I just wanna make sure it sounds up. Sliced my finger so I had to be super careful today with my workout because I did absolutely do a doozy on my finger. Um, I hope that everybody is watching. Clearly my husband is on and watching, but he is obviously not doing the workout today. Although I'm very proud of him, he went and did a little workout on his own uh, earlier this morning. He went, well, he went for a walk. I'm very, very proud of him. Good job, buddy. So, and thank you for joining me. This is going to be your butt next time. So anyway, um, I want to just go over a few things. First of all, we know I'm a personal trainer. I'm a health coach. Um, I am certified, so you're safe. I want to explain a few things uh, anatomically so that you understand your body more uh, before we do the workout. I'm basically going to treat you as if you were a client today and you're literally going to do a workout with me. And this is stuff that I do in my workouts. Now, obviously I use weights and I have all sorts of equipment um, all over the place, you know, weights and stuff like that. But today, just for the sake of some people do not have equipment right now, we're not gonna use any equipment. Now the first piece of equipment, I'm sorry, the, well, the only equipment I have is my gloves. If you have gloves, please feel free to get some gloves. Why do I like gloves? I like gloves because they are grippy and I can hold on to a weight with no problems. When I get down on the floor, I can grip and not have to worry. What happens if you don't have proper grip is that you absolutely can eventually get injured. So good grip is important. If you don't have them, that's okay. If you do, please put them on. If you have an exercise mat, please feel free to use it. I normally do, but today I'm not because I want you to be able to see all of me and not focus on the mat. Um, this is my little gym. It's little, it's a humble little gym, but I'm so grateful that I have it because if I was locked up in this place without it, I don't know what I would do. So um, the other thing I want you to make sure you have is shoes. You can work out without shoes, but I don't recommend it. It's important to try to do shoes. Um, if you don't have shoes, if I'm jumping up and down or anything, there won't be a ton of that, but if we're doing anything, you know, where you're doing this type of thing, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just march instead if you want to do that, if you don't have shoes. If you do have shoes, then please feel free to join in on everything. The other thing I want to tell you before we get into a little bit of anatomy, nothing hard, don't worry, is that I don't want you to do anything that your body cannot do. It's extremely important that you listen to your body. I'm not the type of trainer that says, no pain, no gain. That's not a truth, that's a lie. It's a genuine lie. If you're in pain, that's not good. Now, there are different levels of pain. So there's muscle pain where you'll feel a burn, a nice burn, that's different. But if you're in pain like, ah, oh, that's bad and we don't want any pain like that. If it's a muscle burn and you're sitting here and you're like, oh man, I'm burning, I'm burning, that's fine. I'm okay with that, okay? So try to understand the difference between good pain and bad pain. Now, a little bit of anatomy. So nothing big, no big deal, but this is your bicep. This is your tricep, shoulder. We won't get into all the muscles, but your delts. What's this? This is your abs, okay? This is your lats, this is your mid back. You got your upper back here, traps, and a bunch of other, we have so many muscles, but I'm just going into major muscle groups. Your abs, your abs are super important. You're gonna be working your abs this entire workout. The other thing you're gonna be working the entire time, the butt. Your tush, your derriere, called your gluteus. Well, really there's gluteus maximus, minimus, there's lots of glutes. This right here is the most important muscle on your entire body next to your heart, okay? So between your abs and your glutes, these two things are gonna be constantly working the entire time, all right? 
Your calf muscles are down here. There's lots of different muscles in the calves. You're gonna be working those as well. Um, your entire body will get a workout with this. So, but it's super important that you understand the entire time we work out, you're gonna keep your abs engaged, okay? The other thing is, if you feel anything improperly in your low back, that means you need to engage your abs, readjust something, and try again. If something feels off, it doesn't feel good, either skip it and go, you know, when I do something else, then jump back in, you know, or re-engage, readjust, and try again. Whatever it takes, but remember again, pain is bad, okay? Okay, so water. I'm gonna give you a minute to go get some water. If you don't have water, get your water. Super important, I'm gonna get mine. Mine's right here. All right, so how's your day? How's it going? Some people are probably working, oh, my watch. If you have a watch, it's super important that you track your workout. Why? Because it absolutely helps you know calories. It also helps you just know what you've done. I keep track of my workouts every week by literally my watch. So I hit ready, we're going, I know it's hard to see, okay? We're starting to go now. This thing's gonna start measuring my heart rate, which it might be up right now just because I'm a little nervous, let's be honest. Mm. It's one thing to train people in person, and the programs that I have online, we're marching right now, the programs that I have online are me in videos, but not me live. So me being live is a little different, never done this before, welcome to the new thing. <laughs> I'm trying this out and I'm, I'm praying about what direction God wants me to go, um, so we'll see. This could be a new addition to my online training. Uh, I don't know, we're trying this out. I know people right now are very cooped up in their houses. It makes me sad and I know that a lot of people are dealing with depression, anxiety, um, even anger, uh, <laughs> boredom, loneliness. I mean, there's so many different emotions going on, even for me. So the only sanity I have is God and working out. All right, so working out, if you're dealing with anxiety, depression, um, lethargic, you want to make sure that you're working out. It's super, super important, okay? So what are we doing right now? We're getting our heart rate up. Now I'm talking, so my heart rate, where's my heart rate? I'm already at 130 beats per minute and I'm only marching, okay? So here, shoulders are back and down. Look at my shoulders. My abs are engaged. My spine is long, it's elongated. You wanna make sure that that spine doesn't slouch, okay? Super important that you keep the spine up and long. All right, now from here, we're gonna slow the heart rate down a little bit, right through here. And we're gonna go down on the floor to some abs. Now, thank you everybody who's joining. Please let me know how the workout's going for you and definitely let me know at the end. All right, so from here, we're gonna get on the floor. And what you're gonna do, now it's hard for me to see me, <laughs> but what you're gonna do is you're going to literally press your abs, tighten and engage your abs, and press them down into the floor. Pretend you're pulling your stomach into the floor, okay? Your shoulders are back, your arms can be here or right here in what I call the mummy position, okay? Now I like it here, and what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna do a bicycle, all right? If you can't do a bicycle, just have it right here, okay? And come up into a crunch. This is a crunch. Now you're pressing the low back down into the floor as you do this, okay? Now, if the crunch is too easy, we're gonna do bicycles. You're gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. All right, now, my husband came out, you can hear the, <laughs> he turned it off. All right, so look at my chin, guys. My chin is facing the ceiling, right? What happens if I put my chin down like that? 
you strain your neck. No, no, no. We want the neck to be up. I'm sorry, the chin is up toward the ceiling. Now by now, your abs should be getting tired. So you wanna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Do two more, one, two, good. All right, roll to your right side. Now, you're gonna get on your hands and knees, okay? And what you're gonna do, these are called Supermans. I'm already getting my heart rate up there, guys, but I'm talking a lot. So. <laughs> okay, so from here, abs are engaged. You're using your abs, your glutes, your entire back, but not the low back. We're using our shoulders here, and we're using our entire leg. You're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg, and down. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and down. Opposite arm. Now let me get a different way in case you can't see. Opposite arm, opposite leg, just like this, okay? This is what you look like right here. Engage your abs. Breathe in and out. And in and out. Now we're going to make it a little bit harder, you guys. And we're going to hold two, three, four, and down. And again, switch. And we're holding two, three, four, and down. Up, two, three, four, and down. Engage the abs. Up, two, three, four, and down. Now normally I don't look up. I'm looking up as if I can see you guys. It's so funny. But I'm also <laughs> trying to see if I can see myself. All right, now I want everybody to get up. If you need to get some water, get some water because we're gonna go right back into this in just a second. So take a 30 second break, like I am. Good job. We are already six minutes into this thing, and now we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Breathe in and out. Now, when you do jumping jacks, I want you to make sure that you're not using, keep going, I'm stopping to show you, keep going. <laughs> I want you to make sure you're not using your joints. It's super important to not use the low back here or use your joints. Don't use the ankles. Use your muscles, quads, hamstrings, glutes, even the calf muscles. Purposefully use and focus on those muscles. Engaging. The abs, good. Breathe in and out, good. All right, now we're just marching slowly. Got it up to 147. The goal here is to get your heart rate spiked and lowered back down. Then you go into some resistance training again and then we spike your heart rate back up and lower it down. Why do we do that? I gotta catch my breath, sorry. The reason we do that is because we want you to basically, in a positive way, stress your heart so that it's actually getting worked harder and it's gonna make you burn calories for longer, okay? And more calories at that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is going to be a shoulder exercise. It's an arm and shoulder exercise. So obviously, if you have bands at some point and you feel like using them, please feel free if you have weights. Um, I'm not gonna use them, so I stick with the people that don't, but you can pick up weights and you can literally use weights if you want to. I'm not going to today. I'm getting enough of a workout through having to talk. So. We're going to come up and down. Now my arms, palms facing the ceiling, all right? Up and down, up and down. Now we're warming up. This is gonna get a bit harder as time goes on, especially once we get more into the legs and the glutes. So you just wait, stick with me. But for right now, we're going up 
and down, up and down. Now switch it. Notice I'm giving my ceiling a thumbs up. Ceiling is getting a thumbs up. Now we're going to hold two, three, four, five, and lower using the shoulder. Up, two, three. Hold here, two, three, four, five, and lower using the shoulder. Now we're going to come out like this. We're getting a little arm workout right now. And you're going to drive, okay? You can use a weight to do this. If you have a weight, you certainly can feel free. This is basically what we're doing. We all wish we were driving right now, don't we? Yeah, we do, but we're not. So if you don't have weight, you can use a, a big, anything heavy in your house if you want to. I mean, some people have, you know, heavy cans of soup, whatever, but we're driving. We're gonna make, a, make it a bigger circle, driving, 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 good. Let's see where my heart rate is, shall we? 140. Just this silly little arm movement keeps your heart rate up there, guys. So breathe in and breathe out. Okay. All right. Now I want to go ahead and do a little more cardiovascular. We're going to do some butt kicks. Now again, what's engaged? Abs are engaged. Glutes are engaged. You're trying to kick your own butt and everybody here needs a butt kicking because we're all feeling sorry for ourselves right now. So we're going to kick our own butt. Kick your butt, kick your butt, kick your butt. Now it's important, again, to not use your knees. Do not use the knees. Use your calf muscles here, your quads, your glutes, your hammies. All right, kick your butt a little bit more. I know some of you need more butt kicking than others. Some of you have been a little naughty. I bet you you're like me. You're eating chocolate. I mean, what can we say? Chocolate's amazing. And if I didn't have it right now, I don't know what I'd do. All right, slow it down, slow it down. I think my husband's saying me, yeah, yeah. I could say some things about that, but I'm not gonna. I actually am eating more chocolate at this point. So we're bringing the heart rate down, all right? I'm at 153 and we're 11 minutes in. So we wanna kind of bring it down because we have a bit further to go. So how do we do that, guys? We're gonna go down to the floor, all right? If you need water, let's get water. Get your water. Now, notice after I do a heavy cardiovascular session where my heart rate's up, I slow it down before I just stop. If you're doing running, jumping, or anything heavy cardiovascular, you don't want to just stop because your blood literally pools to the bottom of your body and you don't want that, okay? That's not a good thing. It's not good for your heart. So we're slowing it down, slowing it down, okay? All right, join me on the floor. Get your tush on the floor. Okay, hopefully you can see me. If you can't see all of me, please tell me so that I can fix it, all right? So we're gonna work the glutes, your butt. Everybody needs a good butt workout. So from here, you're gonna put your feet as far back towards your tush as you can, okay? All right, shoulders are back and down, pressed into the floor. Tell me if you can hear me okay, guys. Your abs are tight, they're engaged, okay? All right, now we're gonna use the tush muscles to make our body come up and then to come down. Now you'll notice a lot of people will use their tush well, actually they don't, they use their hips. And what they do is they come up like this and back down, up. That's not good. That's not even working the right muscles. That's working my hip flexors right here. It's not working the glutes. So you're not gonna come up that high, okay? Let me make sure I'm 
You can hear me. Good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, here we go. Feet are back. Abs are engaged. You come up and then down. Two, three. Back up. Now we're pressing through the heel. Down, two, three. You should feel the hamstrings and the glute muscles working right now. Down, two, three. Come up, breathe in, breathe out. Now down, two, three. Come up, breathing in. Now down, breathing out. Come up, and down, two, three. And up. You should be burning, guys. Down, two, three. Now, for you hardcore people, we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. If this is too difficult, do not do it. Do I repeat myself? Yes. Do not do this next move. If it is too hard for you, you can hurt yourself and it's not worth it. And that's not how I roll. I teach people to be safe. Okay. So you're going to literally lift up your heel one inch off of the ground. Now you're going to use the other glute muscle. So not this one, but the other one that you can't see. So let me switch it. I lifted this leg up an inch off the floor. This glute is going to lift me up, okay? Up and down, two, three. And up and down, two, three. This makes it a lot harder. And down, two, three. Now you'll see a lot of people doing this action and that's great, but it's not as hard because you have more momentum. So now, nope. You keep that leg down just an inch off the floor, switch sides, come up and down, two, three, and up and down, two, three. Make sure you breathe and down and breathe in and down, two, three. One more time, breathe in and down, two, three. Good, all right. Now, from here, we're actually going to do some push-ups. And a lot of people hate push-ups and that's okay. <laughs> Especially females, they don't like push-ups. But that's okay, because push-ups are extremely good for you. They're good for the chest. Now, before we do them, it's important when you do push-ups to understand that you need to be using your chest muscles. So your pectorals are right through here. You are using this deltoid, the front delt. You're using somewhat of your bicep as well. But the main focused area is your pectoral muscles, okay? We know you see the guys that are all like <coughs> flexing their pecs. That's what we're looking for. Now, I don't expect you to do a full body, okay? Especially if you don't do push-ups ever. Do not do a full body. I'm going to start off on my knees, show you the proper way to do that, and then we'll move to a full body for those that feel like they want to do full body. But again, don't try it if you're not even somebody that can do the knee push-ups. Some people can't even do the knee push-ups, and if you can't do that, that's okay. What you'll do at that point is just literally uh, sit Sorry, I was gonna do a plank. <laughs> if you can't do a full body or a knee push-up, I'm sorry, you can just either sit like this or you can just sit in a plank position, okay? Just like this. And that little position will work your chest. Think chest. By the way, every time you're doing an exercise, put your brain on the muscle area that you're working on. So right now, what are we working? We're working the pectorals, the chest, our brain needs to be on the chest, okay? All right, so let's do the knees. Here we go. Your arms are fairly wide, okay? Your elbows, I'm sorry, your back is fairly straight. Your shoulders are back and down, abs are engaged. We're gonna come down two, three, and up two, three. Down two, three, and up two, three. This is even hard, and up two, three. All right, that is what you're going to be doing. If you feel like moving on to the full body, please do. All right, you ready? Here we go. 
All right, we're down to three and up two, three. Now you'll see a lot of people doing this action. We don't want that. We don't want this, okay? No. We're going down two, three, and up two, three. Down and up. Down and up. And I don't care if you don't go all the way down. I'm not concerned about that. Down and up. Now if you want to go to your knees, you can go down you can go a little bit lower on your knees, okay? Down and up. You should be burning, keep going. You should be burning pretty well right now through the pecs. We're gonna do two more and then we're gonna move on to some legs. All right, ready? Down and up and down and up. Good job, good job. Get some water. I'm getting sweaty, and this little room is super sweaty, or super hot, no ventilation in here. Now, don't drink tons and tons of water. Okay, thank you for letting me know. My husband's letting me know he can hear me, that's good. Okay, so you don't wanna chug water, really ever, but especially during your workouts, you just wanna slowly hydrate. So every two, uh, exercises that you do, take a couple sips of water so that you're hydrating. Every 15 minutes, drink some water. All right, we're gonna work the inner thighs. These are called your adductors. Look, I'm getting sweaty, guys. What are we in? 20 minutes, all right. These are your adductors, your inner thighs. Now, these are called plies, okay? Now, a lot of, this is what I'm gonna look like from the side, like a little crab. Okay, now a lot of people are gonna put their hips forward. That's not what you do. Get that tush out, get your booty out. All right, we're gonna do inner thighs here. So, you're gonna go down, breathe in, and up to three, using the inner thighs. Use them to go down. Now squeeze the inner thighs up. Down to three, and squeeze them up. Now you're also gonna feel this in the glute, you're even gonna feel this in the troubled area, females, right here. Some men struggle with that too, but especially as females, right here, okay? So down to three, and squeeze inner thighs. Down to three, and squeeze inner thighs. Down to three, and squeeze inner thighs. Notice, abs are engaged, shoulders back and down. Down to three, Squeeze inner thighs. All right, you guys doing okay? It's gonna get a little harder. And I'm gonna take a breather. So I can breathe. My heart rate's at 161. Where are you guys at? Tell me where you're at. All right, we're gonna come up to three and down to three. Now hold, two, three, four. We're not using our knees, guys. Never ever use your joints. Focus on inner thighs. Engage the abs. Don't let that low back take over. Go down deeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got this. Nine. Oh, I skipped one. Nine and ten. Now come slowly up. Woo! You guys should be burning. All right, wiggle it out a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna go do some obliques now on the ground. So you get to lay down a little bit, bring the heart rate back down, okay? So we're gonna come back down here. Now your obliques, they're part of your core. Your abs, your back, your obliques. Now the obliques, let me stand up. The obliques are important because as we age, and really any age, but as we age, mobility, agility. There's a lot of people that can't do this type of action. They can't do this. And that's because they don't have the core strength or the knees or the back. You wanna be able as you grow into your 60s, 70s, 80s to move and to do whatever you need to do. People that fall and they break their hips, some in young age, but as they grow older, 
It's because their abs are not strong. Their glutes are not strong. And that's what I work with with my clients. Getting people strong so that when they're in their higher ages, they're good to go, okay? So obliques are super important. A lot of people skip obliques. You can't skip obliques. All right, come down to the floor. We're gonna breathe in. We're gonna give Zane a trainer break. Catch my breath. Yeah. All right, breathe in. Training myself right now. Giving you guys a break. Breathe in. And down. Bring your heart rate back down. Breathe in. And out, good. Already went down 20. Okay, you guys doing well? All right, so here we go. Working obliques. Again, low back is pressed into the floor. Abs are engaged. Now, little secret. If your neck hurts because it's not strong yet, if your neck hurts while you're doing an ab exercise, you can literally press your tongue against the roof of your mouth. And that literally helps with pain. If you can't fix it with that, you can get a towel and wrap it around the back of your neck and hold it that way. But I really refrain from doing that with clients. I let them do it a little bit, but not for very long because my goal is to train the neck, okay? But those are a few pointers in case you need it. All right, here we go. We're gonna come up like this. Remember, chin toward the ceiling. Now I'm gonna go side and back to side and back. My glutes are engaged and back and side. You'll feel it here and here, okay? Now we are not working the low back. You'll feel it a little bit, but it won't be a negative feeling. You're just gonna feel your muscles working, okay? So we're gonna breathe in and out. And in, really squeeze those obliques. Use the oblique to bring you towards your heel. The oblique is moving you back and forth. Good, breathe in, good. Re-engage glutes, mine, mine took a break. And we're gonna do one more. And good, now release, woo! Very good, all right. We're gonna come back to, well actually let's stay on the floor. I've changed my mind. We're gonna do your outer thigh now, okay? So if this is your abductor, this is your abductor, outer thigh. And with this one, it's super important to keep your glutes engaged and your abs engaged. Now most people struggle with glutes. Glutes are so weak on nearly everybody I work on. It's very rare that people's glutes aren't weak. So right here, the side of your glute is almost always weak for most people. This is going to work that, okay? And there I have, on my online training, I have so many exercises to show people. You're just getting a taste of what I do here. But ultimately, this is gonna work the outer thigh and this medial glute, okay? All right, so you're gonna come down like this, okay? Some people prefer like this but I like like this, okay? Make sure you guys can see me. Abs are engaged. Now I wanna show you what I look like so that you see my body is straight. I'm not like this, okay? All right. So, here we go. Can you see me? You guys see me okay? All right, so we're gonna go. Oh, by the way, point, invert that foot in, okay? This knee is bent. Foot is flexed and invert the foot in. Now we're gonna come back with the leg and we're gonna come up and down. We're gonna come up and hold two, three, and down two, three. Come up and back, hold two, three, and down two, three. Up and back, hold two, three, four, five, and down two, three. Come up and back, hold, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three. Now we're gonna hold it longer, ready? Up and back, hold, you should feel that right through here. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten, and down. We're gonna do it again, guys. We're not done. Ready up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should feel a burn. Nine, ten, and down. Last one. Make sure this is doing all the work. Up and back. Two, three, four, abs engage. Six, seven, burn. Nine and ten and down. Good job. You guys still with me? All right. You guys are probably getting tired. What are we at? Let's see. Hey, good job, guys. We're at 29 minutes. I've burned 200 calories so far. So that's good. That means you guys are right there with me. All right. So same thing. Maybe if I face this way, you can see me better. Okay. All right, so you're down, abs are engaged the entire time. Again, invert the foot, which means you go like this and you flex it. We don't want any pointy toes with this one. We're going back and up, two, three, and down. All right, can you see me? All right, back and up, two, three, four, and down. Good. Back and up, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Burning the glute. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and take a break. Not yet. And up, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Burning and down. Last one. Ready? Breathe in and out. And again, back and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Good job. Now you might feel like hitting that right there. That gets tight. That's okay. It's a good thing. We're going to work on some squats soon but first we're going to do a little bit more arm work um and i want to give you guys a little baby break to get some water because we're 30 minutes in i want you to breathe a little bit okay breathing is important and i'm going to breathe with you how am i looking guys pretty sweaty i want to see your sweats when you're done if you want to take a selfie and show me your sweats that's good i'm excited i like to see people sweat Okay, so from here, we're gonna try to get that heart rate back up first. So we're gonna do what I call frogs. Now, frogs are kind of hard, and so there's gonna be people that can't do frogs, and that's okay. So a frog is basically, you come down and spring up. Now, if you can't do that, don't. What I want you to do, if you can't do a frog, is just come back and up like this. Just back and up like that, sorry I fell back and up like that, okay? If that's too boring for you, you can march in place, or you can come down here and jump, just like this, okay? Whatever you wanna do, but just make sure that you're getting your heart rate up, all right? Okay, here we go, ready? Give me a rivet. We're gonna come down and jump up and down. Glutes and down. Now notice from the side, I rotate my weight back on the heels, okay? Abs are engaged, glutes are working, hammies are working, and quads are working. Down and up, up, up. Now, important to use here to spring you up. Don't use that low back. I don't wanna hear anybody using their joints, their knees. You're using glutes, glutes, quads, sorry, quads and hammies, all right? Up, up. Up, trying to be as graceful as you can on the landing so you don't get hurt, okay? And come up. Good job, guys. That's a hard workout. We're gonna bring it back down. My heart rate's at 160, so we're gonna give it a minute. Take it back down. Get water again if you feel like it, because we're gonna go back to legs. Uh, I changed my mind. We'll come to legs in a minute. First, we're going to do some arms. Okay, so if you're back with me, this is going to seem probably a little bit trivial, but 
believe me, it works. So you're gonna come up and down, out, back, out, up and down, out and down. Now we're using the shoulder on each side, under, side and top, okay? Up and down, out and down, back and down, out and down, up and down, out and down, back and down. Now, I want you to slightly bend, engage your abs, engage the glutes, elongate the spine, shoulders are back and down. Now from here, we're gonna go back and forward. Back and forward. Notice I'm not coming down here, okay? Back and forward. Notice my neck's not like this. My head is up high. Back and forward. Back and forward. This is working the triceps and back here, all right? Keep going back and forward. Hold, two, three, four, five, and down. Hold, two, three, four, five, and down. One more, two, three, engage your abs, five, and down. Good job. All right, now we're actually gonna work what's called your lats. And you'll see a lot of people, lats right here, they need to be very strong. It's important for your back to be very, very strong. What I don't encourage is people to do exercises that cause their back to do this. That's not wisdom. And it's not appropriate for your back. And any chiropractor that knows what they're doing will tell you that. Any physical therapist and really any trainer is not gonna have you doing back extensions of that nature. So what I'm gonna have you do is get on the floor and we're gonna do a different kind. You're gonna work all through here, okay? So let me know, hopefully my husband's still watching, I don't know. Let me know if you can't see me, okay? All right, so we're using the lats right here. You're pressing your hips into the floor and my glutes are engaged. Okay, thank you, Edward's watching, thank you. Okay, so we're going to literally pull back and forward. Now notice I'm not coming up, right? It's just a little baby up and down, pulling back and moving forward. You're gonna feel that all through here, okay? All right, we're pulling back, hold, two, three, and forward. Pull back, two, three, and forward. Engage your glutes, super important. Pull back, two, three, and forward. Pull back, two, three, and forward. One more, pull back, press your abs into the floor. Hold it, not letting go. Breathe in, you should be burning. Holding it, one, two, three, and relax, woo! Good job. You can stretch your back out a little bit, all right? Very good job. All right, get some water. We're coming back. It's gonna be time to end soon, guys, but not quite yet. All right, I'm gonna teach you a proper, proper squat. So squatting is super important. Why? Well, because we all squat every day, all day long. We squat to get on the couch. Let's face it, we squat to get on the toilet all day, every day. Let's be honest, we all do it. We all go to the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're, pro if you're improperly squatting, you're hurting your knees, you're hurting your back, and it's super important. Now there's going to be people who can't do a full squat. Lots of people can't, and that is okay. In fact, you should not. Thank you, you guys, everybody that's joining me. I, I really appreciate it. It's awesome, I'm excited, and it's fun. This has actually been fun. So um, anyway, back to squats. If you can't do a full squat, don't do it. 
and I'll show you a regression and a regression means that you know you have a progression which is harder and then you have a regression which is an easier form of a specific uh, movement so first we'll start with a regular squat the proper squat now you'll see a lot of people doing squats and they go forward right and they go all oh, down like that yeah that's really bad why because the knees are going over the toes their hips are going forward that's all sorts of bad we don't want that I'm not downing anyone I'm saying that you're gonna hurt yourself what I focus on is corrective exercise which is teaching people to do it correctly so that they can get out of pain so that they can literally um, help rebuild after injury and we've all been injured numerous times I have injuries that I work around and that I you know work on when you heal the muscles and you strengthen those muscles you fix the injury a lot of the time and that's what I'm doing here so basically we're never doing this on a squat never ever abs are engaged the whole time shoulders are back and down you're the king or the queen your head's never gonna be like this you'll see people in the gym and their heads are down like this and they're doing and that's not good guys head is up high you're confident okay all right so rotate your weight back onto your heels can you see my feet no all right rotate your weight back onto your heels first okay and we're gonna rotate that weight back you're gonna get your booty out and we're gonna go down two three and up two three now we're using the quads but we're really using the hammies and the glute all right down two three and up two three don't let that low back take over if that is too difficult which it often is you can do a regression here's your regression you're just going to come right here and glutes up okay going down using the glutes hold and glutes up down right here and glutes up if that hurts you you're not ready for squats and that's okay if I was training you I'd say okay we're not even gonna do squats yet we're gonna work on other things and then we're gonna take you to squats and that's a very normal thing I have pa uh, patients clients I've had for years that started off one way and they end up a completely different way because we build the muscles over time if you think you're gonna lose 20 pounds in a month you're not it's not even wisdom if you think that um, unless you're extremely obese that is possible for people who are extremely obese but most people you don't lose that much weight that fast it's not even healthy to most of the time um, if you think that you're gonna build your muscles in a month and everything's gonna be great you're not it takes time it takes a lot of time to get to a place of strength and I'm still working on it I will always be working on it okay all right so let's do our squats I'll show you this way all right rotate the weight back on the heels here's the regression okay here's the full squat up oh I fell sorry guys down two three and glutes glutes squeeze use the glutes to bring you down glutes are doing the squeeze glutes are bringing you down and glutes are bringing you up feel it here feel it here feel it here glutes glutes down and squeeze glutes up don't let the low back take over and squeeze your glutes up all right now this last one's gonna be a little more difficult because we're gonna hold okay ready breathe in and hold two engage your abs do not let your low back take over hold those glutes squeeze them four really we're probably on eight but we're going to five <laughs> six burn 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 eight nine ten and squeeze it up very good what are we at we're at 148 beats per minute which is very very good all right we're gonna do two more exercises and then I'm gonna set you guys free well really first we're gonna do some good stretching and then I'll set you free we've basically worked your entire body almost today um, with literally no equipment as you can see the highest that my heart rate got 
was 160 beats per minute, which is really good. I've so far burned almost 300 calories. That's pretty awesome, you guys, for not having any equipment, okay? It just goes to show that though I miss my gym, and as soon as it opens back up, I'll be there. <laughs> but you can do, you can work out with no equipment. When you have equipment, even better. But you can still do it without it. So there's really kind of no excuses. When people say, oh, I don't have any equipment. And we can do it without it. Okay, so the, the next exercise we're gonna work is your calves. Now, calves are extremely important. A lot of females will wear flat shoes, literally too flat of shoes, or the high heels, right? Now I'm old, I'm almost 46 in a few weeks. You're not gonna see me in heels very often. I miss them, but the pain's not worth it. So, but I, I had my day in those, okay? But strong calves are important for everybody. So you really want to work these calves appropriately, and then you also wanna stretch them appropriately. You wanna stretch your whole body. But once this gets tight, your entire body gets tight. A lot of people have back pain and they don't know why and they think, oh, I hurt my back. Well, it could be that, but it could also be that you hurt your calf. It could be that your calves are tight and most likely is. So let's work your calves, let's strengthen them. You're just gonna have your shoulders back and down, head is up high, you're the king, you're the queen, okay? Oh, sorry, I hit my owie, guys, sorry. <laughs> All right, glutes are engaged, knees are soft, they're slightly bent, okay? Now, we're gonna use the calf muscles, not the feet, okay? Again, thank you everyone for joining me. All right, so you're gonna come up and down, up slowly and down. Can you guys see my feet? Yeah. Up and down, using the calf muscles. You can even come up and down to three. Come up and down to three. You can grab weight to do this, all right? If you wanna grab a weight, you can hold this like this, up, down, two, three. What I don't want is using joints. I don't want you to use your knees. I don't want you to use your hips. I don't want you to use ankles. I want you to use those calf muscles, okay? No joints, all right? Come up and down to Three. My husband said something I have to make sure. Okay, make sure everything's good. Thank you, sir. All right, now we're gonna look like a penguin, okay? Again, you can hold weight if you want. You don't have to. I'm gonna put it down so I support all the people that don't have weights. All right, so you look like a penguin, all right? We're working the, you have a lot of different muscles in your calves. There's three main muscles, this side, the back and this side, okay? And we want to make sure we get them all. So we're gonna go out. This one is going to feel more awkward. Down, two, three. Up, down, two, three. Again, abs are engaged, hook out all my sweat. Do not use the knees, guys. No knees, okay? Up, down, two, three. Up, down, two, three. You can even bring your legs in more. Like for me, I feel like I need to bring them in more. I was too far out. So work with it. If you listen to your body, see what it needs. All right, let's do two more. Let's even make it hard. Let's up and hold. Two, three, four, five, and down. That makes it harder. All right. Now notice, on most of everything we've done today, we did not go fast, except for frogs, uh, running, butt kicks, that cardiovascular stuff obviously you're gonna go quick. But when you're talking about resistance training, we do not go fast. In fact, most of the time, the slower you go, the better. Okay, so, <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice a little. So, you're gonna put your feet inward, okay? Invert the feet, knees are slightly bent, so I'm gonna look like this, guys. You're gonna come up, and down, two, three. We're working the outer calf now. Up, down, well, I went too fast there, but that's okay. Up, down, two, three. This is not easy. Down, two, three. It takes control, takes your abs engaged, your glutes have to be engaged. 
If I let go of my glutes, I can do this all day, guys, but I'm not getting a workout. My glutes help to give me that workout, okay? You wanna make sure when you're doing your exercises, anybody can do this all day long, but they're not getting a workout. You have to engage the muscles. All right, so that is your calf muscle workout. So the last thing that we're actually going to do is some more abs because abs are so extremely important. So we are gonna do um, the bicycles again and just go with me, go with it. You're probably tired. We're 48 minutes in, so we're almost done. All right, getting a good 50 minute workout here, which is perfect. Okay, so we're gonna come down. Now again, if the bicycles are too hard, actually I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna teach you something else. We're not gonna do bicycles, forget it. We're gonna, you're gonna have a progression, which is a harder one, and a regression, which is an easier one. These are gonna be toe touches. Now I'll show you the easier one first, okay? So low back is extremely important to keep it pressed down. The abs are engaged, okay? Shoulders are pressed against the floor, abs are engaged and pressed into the floor. Press your back into the floor, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring my knees up, pressing my low back into the floor. I'm not up like this, I'm like this. Now this is the easier one, you just hold it. And by the way, it's not easy, okay? But it's easier. Now if you need it even easier, you can bring them forward a little bit and up a little bit, that makes it easier. This is like next level where the feet and the knees are in line parallel with each other, okay? Now the harder one, press that low back down. You're gonna come down to three and touch, down and touch. My shoulders went like this. I had to remind them that I'm the boss and they needed to go down. I'm the boss. Now right there I needed to fix my back or my abs so that my back wouldn't hurt, okay? So, you shouldn't have any low back pain. Now I don't, okay? You're coming down, touch, ever so gently, down, touch, gently, down, touch. It's harder than it looks, isn't it? If it's too hard, just hold. Literally just hold it. If that's too hard, bring it here, and that's okay. You can bring this down more, whatever it takes. Now we're gonna go back to toe touches. This is your last exercise. You're doing amazing. Keep your back pressed into the floor, okay? Down, touch, and up. Down, touch, and up. Re-engage the abs. Down, touch, and up. Down, touch. We're gonna do one more. Down, touch, and up, and down, touch, and up. And you did it. You guys did it. We are at 51 minutes. Burned a total of 350 calories. Feels amazing. Um, now we're gonna do some stretching. Now for my stretches, I take my gloves off because I'm sweaty. I'm good and sweaty. Next time I am not wearing a shirt. It's too hot in here. Uh, uh, how are you guys feeling? Talk to me. Tell me how it went. Tell me how you're feeling. Um, tell me what was easy, what was hard, uh, what worked for you, what didn't. If you have questions, you know, please feel free to talk to me and let me know because I just trained you. You literally just got free training. And so, you know, I want you to get the right training. If you felt like something was off or you didn't quite understand something, I definitely want you to talk to me and I can help you because when I instruct someone, I want them to have full understanding. So if there's something you don't understand, please let me know. Now. We're gonna do just some arm stretches first. We're gonna slow our heart rates down. My heart rate's still at 137, so I wanna really bring that down. Hopefully you guys feel great. I know my husband's watching. He probably feels amazing because he's just sitting somewhere in the house. I don't even know where. Probably breathing heavy, right? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are breathing heavily and you're gonna bring that heart rate down. So we're gonna breathe in. And out. Super important to bring that heart rate down, guys. Super, super important, okay? I don't want you to get off yet, and I do not want you to skip this part. All right, we're gonna bring that arm over. So we're pulling right here, 
Okay, I'm gonna come closer to the light and I'm gonna turn it down so I can see. I could do some, but not all, so I imp improvised. No problem, Sandy, I'm proud of you. Thank you for joining. That's so amazing, that's awesome. And guys, that's so true. Even if you can only do some, um, that is okay. That's perfect. Whatever you can do is what you can do. And I, I mean, you guys probably get annoyed with my posting, but I post because I care. Ultimately, when we don't listen to our bodies, we're gonna switch arms, okay? If we don't listen to our bodies, then our bodies get sick, period, end of story. And if there's pain in your body, that's your body's way of telling you, hey, there's inflammation, something's going on, it needs to be addressed. And our bodies can be very persnickety like that. So if we listen to them and we try to address it, of course, pray over your body, always. But, but address it both internally with proper nutrition, but externally as well with proper exercise, proper stretching. Now, I'm not getting into everything I do with my clients as far as you know, corrective exercise, as far as uh, releasing techniques. You wanna release adhesions. Muscle adhesions are knots in your muscles and they get very tight. And when you have adhesions, that really is what causes a lot of people's pain. Um, and a lot of people, millions of people walk around every day in pain, okay? Sorry, I'm talking and not instructing. Elbows back. Now here's what I look like, okay? You wanna be able to bring your head back. You don't want it to be forward. You wanna bring it back if you can, if you can, okay? Now we're breathing too. And breathe out. Now we'll switch again. We're gonna to go to the legs, stretch the back. Good, good. You want your head to be a little bit mobile here. And you'll feel this stretch through here, through the tricep. It's good. Your heart rate should be down now. Mine's down still up at 20, 126, so we want to bring it more down. All right, we're going to stretch the hip flexors now. I didn't do a whole lot of jumping around because I don't want to do that uh, you know, yet. Um, I am thinking about doing this type of training where... I make entire workouts of me doing an entire workout and putting it on my online training. Right now, I, pr I make programs where it's a video of me doing you know, each specific exercise and it works great and I love it, but I also would like to you know, add some more. So I'm thinking about doing an entire workout. So it just kind of changes it up and it gives my clients more. It, it, it gives them so much more. So I'm excited about adding to that. And this is kind of a tester to see how it went. So please let me know what you thought. Okay, so this is stretching your hip flexors. Why are hip flexors important? When they get tight, what, how do they get tight first of all? Well, they get tight because we sit on our butts a lot. We're just sitting like this. And right now with all of us being quarantined, oh yeah, we're doing a lot of sitting, okay? What happens when you sit? Your butt gets flat and these get tight. So we wanna stretch that out. Now, one way you can do it, for those of you that can get on the ground, I love doing it this way. You can get on the ground like this and what you're doing is you're rotating your hip forward, okay? So you start with the tush back here and you rotate that hip forward, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. Now you're gonna feel a nice stretch through here, through the quad, and through the hip flexor, okay? Breathe in, and breathe out. Good job. All right, now we're gonna switch legs. Now, you switch legs, do the other leg. I'm gonna show you another way for people who can't get on the floor because there's plenty of people who can't. This way is standing. Same concept, tush comes back first, and then you rotate the hips forward. This is a hard concept for people, but it's important. Rotate the hips forward. You're gonna feel a pull through here. Okay, breathe in and out. Why is breathing important? Well, let's switch sides. If we, oops, my bad. If we don't breathe, we don't get oxygen to the lungs or to the brain. If we don't get oxygen to the lungs or the brain, we don't breathe and we don't live. So we need that oxygen to go to the brain and into the lungs, super important. Your brain has to calm and slow down right now 
um, because it heats up, right? It gets, over, it gets hot. So we need to literally get that oxygen up there. All right, breathe in and out. Again, if you wanna be on the floor, you can be. You're gonna rotate your hips forward, okay? And I love this one. And this is really something you should do every day. Everybody should be stretching every day. I have an actual package that's literally just stretching. And I think it's like, I don't know, I don't remember the price, it's, it's super cheap. And it's literally just a stretching package where you just stretch every day. I wanna say $40 a month, it's cheap. So if you don't know how to stretch and you, maybe you need somebody to kind of make you stretch, that's a great way to stretch. Now we're gonna st stretch the hamstrings, okay? So we're gonna get on the floor and we're literally bending one leg. Now a lot of people think that this is a proper hamstring stretch where they bend their back like that and it's not. So because what happens is you're not even stretching the hamstring at that point, you're stretching your back. So you want to keep your abs engaged somewhat. You want your back straight, okay? Your knee could be slightly bent if it needs to be, that's okay. And you're just gonna reach forward, okay? If you can't touch, that's okay. Just go to where you can go. If you can touch, that's amazing. I'm proud of you, okay? I'm gonna stop my, my workout so I don't get calories that I didn't actually earn. Make sure you stop your, your watches, guys. All right, breathe in and out. Feel that wonderful stretch in the hamstrings. It's amazing. Breathe in and breathe out. Super good job. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. Again, same thing. Straighten the back, lean forward. Now for me, this side's tighter today. Normally it's this side, so it's surprising. This side's tighter and that's normal. Some days you're gonna have one side tighter than the other. Some days you're gonna have one workout seem like you're Superman and then another day you do the same workout and you feel like crap and you don't even feel like you did a good job. So thank you for the hearts and the likes, you guys. It's very, very encouraging, very, very much a blessing. And thank you to my husband for showering me with hearts. I appreciate it. And for helping me. He uh, helped me <clears throat> set it up to where I knew where to stand and all of that. Um, I'm still getting used to all of that stuff. I, I, I've had to learn how to do a lot of this over the past few years, so it's been very interesting. All right, now we're going to stretch out. This is stretching your inner thighs, and a lot of people know this stretch, but it also can stretch through here. So it's also a nice stretch kind of for the low back. I like it. If you can press your elbows into the floor, do, or into your knees rather. Try to press your knees into the floor, okay? If you wanna do this, you can, that's okay. Just don't hurt yourself. All right, breathe in and out. Now notice from this seated position, I couldn't breathe in as far because I'm crouching and I'm kinda of squeezing the lungs so they can't breathe in as much. Good job. Now we're gonna do some back stretching. Super important, okay? So, hopefully you can see me. We're almost done. I'll let you guys get back to your life. It's probably dinner time soon, huh? All right, so, what are you having tonight? You having pizza? No, sir, no ma'am, mm-mm, just kidding. All right, ready? We're gonna go up into a bridge, okay? Hold, press your back into the ceiling. So this is what I look like. Press, press, press into the ceiling. Now I'm gonna come down and let it drop. Feels so good. I'm gonna press up again. Don't forget to breathe. And down, good. All right, and again. And down. Good, now I want you guys to come back like this. All right, now you're reaching here. Try to reach your fingertips toward the wall and pull back. You're gonna feel a nice pull, okay? Pulling, 
It'll feel good on your entire back and your low back, okay? Breathe in. Now, if you guys feel tight on the inner thighs and you feel like you can do this stretch, this is a harder stretch. Not everybody can do this. Don't feel like you have to. Here's what you're going to look like, okay? You're going to go down, and you're literally, those feet have to be out. They can't be like this. If they're like this, they're going to hurt your knees. So I need them to be like this, out. You're going to go down, okay? Now I know it looks totally inappropriate, but that's an amazing stretch. It stretches those inner thighs. It stretches your hip flexors. Super, super important. We are going to do your inner thighs a different way as well, real quick, um, because when the inner thighs get tight, your entire body gets tight. No different than the calves. We'll finish with the calf muscles, and then you'll be done. Okay, so let's do those inner thighs. You're coming down, and this is what we're stretching. I don't want to feel a stretch in here, okay? I want to feel it right here, all right? Now look at my tush. My tush is out. It's not forward. Tush is out, okay? All right, now we'll stretch the other side. Oh, it feels so good. Inner thighs, good job. Breathe in and out. Good job, guys. What are we at? Oh, I stopped my watch, never mind. Breathe in and out. Our heart rates are definitely down now. All right, so finally to finish, we're gonna do your calf muscles. Now there's so many different ways to do your calves. You can go up against um, a wall, which I can show you, but it's a little bit difficult to show you um, on this wall, but I'll try. So I have a wall behind my curtain here. I I'm not gonna mess with the wall. I'm just gonna do it this way, it's just easier. So I'm going to invert my foot ever so slightly like this, and I'm gonna bend that knee, okay? And you're gonna feel the calf muscle stretching and it feels really good. And the more inverted, the better, okay? You're gonna kind of feel that outer right here stretch. You're gonna feel all of it stretch, okay? And then you're gonna hold that. Now these stretches after your workout, you wanna stretch. I'm not doing it the whole long time to save time, but after your workouts, when you stretch for a long time, you stretch from 30 to a minute on each entire stretch. All right, now I'm not inverting the foot, right? I'm just bending that knee. You're gonna feel the stretch kind of toward the midsection here and the back of the calf. So prior to a workout, your warm-ups are gonna be arm rotations, this type. This is a type of stretching, believe it or not. You know, warming up this way, this is a type of stretch, all of this. You know, this is what you do prior, but this long stretching, now let's do the other side of the calf, invert that foot this way, bend the knee, you'll feel a nice stretch, okay? When you do this um, up against a wall, let's see, let me show you guys a different way. Let me move this. So if you have a wall, you can literally put your calf up against the wall and bend like this, okay? and this will actually stretch really nicely. You can also go to a step or a stair and hang off of it, you know, like this and stretch that way. There's so many different ways to stretch your calves and things of that nature, but you did it, we're done. Uh, it's been a good hour and 15 minutes. Thank you for people who stuck with me. I hope you had an amazing workout. Please let me know how it went for you. I'm, I'm hoping to post it to YouTube, to my YouTube channel. If you don't follow me on YouTube, please go follow me on YouTube. I would love your support and uh, we'll see what happens next. Maybe we'll do this again. I don't know what else we'll do. We'll see. God bless you guys in this difficult time and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.